Hey guys, it's Jerry, and I'm gonna be playing some Never Song today. Um, and I had already played a bit of it for my Twitch stream a couple weeks ago, and I thought to do a YouTube series on it for my channel. Right, let's get to it. Once upon a time, there was a boy, an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was grey, until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening they when looking for some place to play. Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. Alright. We start off the game with this creepy aesthetic looking place. Especially with that portrait up on the mantle. Um, alright. Okay. Ooh. gonna open these just yet. Um, I'm just gonna head back down. We're gonna take a look at this photo. A portrait. The word smile is scratched into the parchment. Okay. Alright, and if you guys notice, the doors have a unique letter on them and I'm guessing we have to spell out the word smile got these freaky little guys over here and we're just gonna head back down to the other doors believe was the top word and the smile I'm guessing that's what it is. Okay, S M I L N E. I nearly jumped when I saw that first. Honestly, thought he would come after me and I'd be like, where do I go? But thankfully, he retracted. <laughs> We're just gonna go back to this thingamajig. Uh, 
All right. Okay, it looks like the piano that Ren plays on. We're just gonna go head down here. And this fireplace is a save. So we're gonna be back quickly. Booty Bump Pals, 1952. You are a dusty mattress. Ren's parents are so nice. Sleeping here beats that old orphanage cot any day. I bet. It seems like... Um... Kind of reminds me of Alice, The Madness Returns, if any of you guys have played that. Been at least four to five years since since I last did that game. Something's written on the door in crayon. This hotel is now the property of the exclusive Booty Bum Gang. It's now called Booty Bum Clubhouse, and you can suck a big one. Punky. All right, let's talk to this chap here. One thousand one. One thousand two. 1003? Oh crap, not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing! Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. My therapist asked me the same stupid questions. Mind your own business, dude. So, can I help you? 1015, 1016, 1017. Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped, so the grown ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. They haven't been back since. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. After I finish counting, of course. Quite the interesting lad. Alright, and we're at the barber shop. A message is scribbled on the mirror. CG, CG, B. Remember our song, Pete? Ren. How did this get here? Alright, we're gonna take this to the piano. But, um, let's do a little bit of exploring first. Pete! You're finally awake! My heart is full. I was about to adventure out to the Spidarian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him screaming. Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. If you must know, it is my belief that, well, um, that your girlfriend is likely dead. My heart skips a beat just thinking the dreadful thought. Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not sure how long she'll last. I'd help you find her, but I gotta go check out the Spidarian sewer first. <laughs> uh, the jukebox is playing an old tune. The screen says, it's called Mama. Make me happy. Okay, I think we can go back to the house with the piano. Uh, let me go up here first. Lock from the inside. Hey! We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you, I get it. Ren's nickname? 
We all call her the Slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you, bro? Not sure where she hit it, though. What a Chad voice. <laughs> Just saying. Also, this Ren seems like the only girl in this entire neighborhood. We've got the Red Wing Slugger, Ren's vintage baseball bat with a cracking leather grip. This thing aches for a good whacking. Alright. Um, so Never Song is optimal to play on a controller, but I'll be using a keyboard and mouse for this game. Alright, let's head over here. go in this house? Not yet. Oh, it's locked in on the inside anyway. Pete! It's me, Bert! <gasps> you woke up! I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. I just saw Ren. Yeah, a man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Oh damn, that's where Preston's going. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Okay, quick, use that bat to get me out of this cage. Will do, Birdo. I'm getting a little claustrophobic in here, man. I'm sorry. Here we go. Alright, so Bird is this companion that helps you on your little journey. He? She? It's kind of useful. Well, in the amount of time that I played this game, which isn't very long. All right, let's talk to this kid. Parkour. Up here, Pete. It is I, the mighty parkour ninja, Gumboisa, at your service. Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. Um, I tried to help, honestly. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad. So, yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> I just kidding. Um, yeah, Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, she just never taught me how to get down. Still trying to work. Yep. Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made me these sexy magnetic gloves. Really helps me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboisa grips. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, John and I are heading to the cemetery. Meet us there if you want to help find his dad. Perf. Okay. It looks like a coma card. These things are all the rage in Redwind. There's a ton of them hiding all over the place. Be sure to collect and equip to change your outfit. Okay. Um, you need to pick it up first. <laughs> Got it, Gumboisa. Equip to wear a headband. Um, Gumboisa is the kid that thinks he's cool because parkour. He's nice though, so who cares? Alright, let's equip this headband. We look in tough and onwards. Hey puke face! Get over here and help me! I'm stuck! Isn't it obvious, puke? I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. 
Give me my sewing needle, puke Bart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Those little turds, the spiders, snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I remember getting lost. Or I didn't know how to proceed during this part, but... I've got it down. Don't worry. I don't know if any of you played this, but... I got quite lost often. Oh, here it is. Check it out! In the tree! Simeon's sewing needle? Right. Our first bird assistance. Kinda weird I didn't die there. Watch out for Punky. That's me, Punky. Simeon said I should go and find him some help. But I'm too busy dancing. Do you like my dance moves? It's my birthday. I'm so proud of myself for turning another age. I'm finally old enough to start learning how to math and how to science. Nah, wanna hear the real reason I'm dancing? Well, a sneaky spider came up and whispered in my ear. Wanna know what he said? He said, Dr. Smile's gonna eat your thighs. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Creepy. I actually sent a little shiver down my spine. And I think I've missed something here. Ren's favorite spot. Okay. And we're just gonna give back Simeon his sewing needle. Rude. Oh, pop me! It hurts so bad, but you have to pop me. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! <laughs> Sounded like he released some big fart. So, I think we're in the sewer? The Spiderian sewer? Help, help. Yeah, we are. These spiders are gonna eat me alive! How did he blow up again? Um... Okay. So... I think we follow him. Or not. That's cool too. <laughs> All right, now we follow him, I think. How did I get hit? Uh, Pete! Welcome to my state-of-the-art research facility. And the sewers? This, my friend, is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend, Red. There's no question science can't answer. Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's examine the facts. Fact. There's a giant centipede downstairs. And she only seems to respond to sm- Fact! There's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Yes, yes. All of these facts are definitely strange. Last! My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. 
I should get back to work. Goodbye, Pete. Nothing a day's reading and research can't handle. Okay. Dr. Smile and a birdcage. Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Sent a spider. Length, three miles. Age, one week. Properties, deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible she was heavily sedated. Sounds drunk. Notes. Elevated heart rate occurs with certain smells, specifically sludge, spider eggs, and sand. All right. And we go back. What a way to traumatize a child. <laughs> Help me, Pugh! Oh, man. I think she's hungry! Wow, this thing is horrifying. I have a theory. Um, never mind. It's a little crazy. Let's just keep moving. You're gonna think I'm insane? But I think that might be a grown up. Oh, man. All right, looks like that's a dead end. got herself kidnapped. She couldn't stand you. Rude. It's not like you knew anything. Uh, let's go here. Okay. Oh. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Oops. I had to do that over again. I forgot about the water. Oops. 
trying to get up to the top ledge there. Oh. Get it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, I don't want him to go here. There we go. glasses. He'll likely be the richest of all the children when he grows up. Probably some adventure or something in San Fran. Perfect. Okay, let's uh... I thought I didn't get that. <laughs> okay. Um, I should have pushed him. Silly me. Gotta go grab our boy. Okay. Get over here. No. Gosh, dang. <laughs> Okay, so this way, he doesn't get clean. <laughs> you got sludge smeared all over my jeans. Now I smell like red. Such a pig fart. Just like you. You! My problem is you! I've tried to be nice to you, but my patience is running thin. I'm done with you. Really? Okay, sure. Let's be friends. Can I be your best man at Ren's funeral? <laughs> okay, well, use him as a stepping stone. Oh. Rogan Boysen. You seen him around? Where's the F for F? What, Dawn? He tricked me. I didn't think he was actually playing hide and seek. Wish I could beat his butt. I'm sick of him tricking me. I can never reach him though on those eggs. Maybe if I had that bat though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go a little bit higher than normal? Of course you did. That's why they call you the slug. Huh? I guess I gotta open that. Oh, gotta go down. Okay, now we're just gonna grab our boy again.
Oh, I was gonna say, no hearts, really? I mean, I do the... Sure. Whatever, dude. Ha! Yeah, you are an idiot. <laughs> for the time being. Let's do a quick save. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you guys um, ever push him into the water, you'll have to do the sequence all over again. Just a little tip. Because I've spent I feel like hours on this section. Being lost. And it literally says, says so in that kid's um, diagram, back in that research item. Oh man. Okay. This battle should be fairly easy. Just gotta wait until she does that and just whack a rooney like that. And then when she does that attack, just go all the way to one side completely. trying to get away from that attack. And that's why you save.
Alright, but you guys get the gist of it. I'm gonna skip through this dialogue. Seems like we got a new song, I think. Yes. Okay. B C G A E. Ooh. You can tell I'm not a music student or a musician. Alright. Uh, I think we're good here. As for Simeon, he probably went bye-bye. We're just gonna go head back to the save. And I'll probably end this episode right here. I'm so Ooh. confused. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard the boys are talking about this a week ago. It looks like the grown-ups are turning into monsters. That can't be. Anyways. Gumboisa mentioned finding three sleeping monsters. I hate to say it, but I think we need to wake them up to find Ren. They apparently know how to sing. Ha! <laughs> exactly. Ugh, I'm glad that's over with. Kinda freaked me out. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go play that song we learned on Ren's piano. Yeah, actually, I'll just go back to Ren's piano and then I'll end this episode. <laughs> Not too far off. Is that? Oh, it is Simeon. Yikes, is that Simeon? I can't even. 
pop that sucker open. Back to the house. Oh, my kid's here again. Well, not again, but he's here. 3020, 3021, 3022. I heard about Simeon's mom. Yeah. I'm not so sure I want you helping me find my dad. It's not like I was hopping out in the first place. Parkour. Parkour. Where you been, dude? Nice. How about you be a hero and join me and John in Neverwood Cemetery? You could use your ripe and shiny biceps. Cool. Be there in a sec, dude. <laughs> well, that was weird. chat has anything new to say. Let's go check it out. Oops. <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about my parents. I miss them. Yeah, they've been missing a while. You ever heard of the booty bum water tower? I have a theory. Dude, you're like ghost white. I don't think you can handle it. No way, dude. This story isn't for kids. It's for big boys. <laughs> I'm like a zillion years older. Plus, my dad said I was his big boy, and he could beat up your dad. Aww. Now I miss my dad. Too bad, kid. I don't even have parents. Okay, we're back at Ren's house. And I already forgot the song. We'll just take a look real quick. Oh. B C D A E. B C D A E. Okay. It's complete seal script. Shiny firm set of magnetic gauntlets. Jump into magnetic eggs to swing. Alright. I think I'll just end it here. And uh, we'll try out these bad boys out in the next one. See you guys.